friends welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome today I am cleaning and decorating our master bedroom I have a couple of new decor items that I want to put out and I just want to give it a small and simple refresh so hopefully you get some decor ideas and enjoy today's video I really wanted to give our bedroom a good deep clean before putting out any new decor. I'm starting off with dusting the ceiling fan. It tends to accumulate a lot of dust, so don't forget about your ceiling fans. I hadn't done it in a while, so it definitely needed it. And then I'm just removing the bedding so I can wash it. I usually do this every Sunday. It's on my Sunday to-do list, and I'll wash it early in the morning. That way I can get it clean and dried by the evening and there is nothing better than sleeping with a fresh clean bedding to start off a new week living in the past we're over there i'm feeling here tonight riding on the dizzying high and before I get any further, I wanted to share that you can get double the bedroom decor ideas because today I'm collaborating with my sweet friend Ashley J. Aaron. She shares lifestyle, motherhood, cleaning motivation, and decorating ideas on her channel. And today she is also refreshing her bedroom space and she's also sharing tips on creating capsule bedding. I know that you guys will love her and love her channel. She has such elegant style. I will link her video and her channel down below. I'm moving on to dusting the side tables and the blinds. I ended up moving the side tables so I can dust the baseboards behind them and oh my goodness, they were so dusty. I tend to forget about those hard to reach places and then when I get to them, wow, they can get really, really dusty. So I was glad that I finally got to cleaning that and I'll show you guys in a second just how bad it was. I used the Method All-Purpose Cleaner to spray down the baseboard and really wipe it down well. And then since the side table was already moved, I also took this time to vacuum behind there since I don't get to that often either. And later in this video, I'm going to be, like I said, decorating, adding a few new pieces, but I'm also going to be DIYing some vases and giving them an aged stone look. And I really love how they turned out and they were easy to do. So I have a lot of fun stuff in this video, some cleaning motivation, the DIY and decor ideas. So I hope that you stick around and you get some ideas for yourself. And I did the same thing on the other side. I moved the side table and cleaned the baseboard behind it and vacuumed. Like I said, I really needed to get to those hard to reach places. And then after I do this, I'm moving on to our dresser where we have our TV. I just had a picture frame candle and some twinkle lights up since like fall or Christmas. So I really wanted to take those off because it just needed new batteries. It wasn't even turning on and I just wanted to make it a little bit more simple here. So I'm just dusting that off and then dusting off the rest of the furniture before I get to doing some vacuuming and then the decor. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. And I'm just using a Swiffer duster to dust everything off and I think it does a pretty good job. And then moving on to my makeup vanity, I'm going to take everything off here, dust it and wipe it down. I wanted to do things a little bit more simple here. Those lipsticks that I had out were just honestly collecting dust so I bought a new organizer and just more simple decor for this area but just first cleaning it all off and I apologize for the weird lighting it was just a weird time of day where the sun comes in really bright but I promise it gets better in a second 
Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can't do better. So much better. I've shared this before, but this makeup vanity is from Ikea. The table is one part and then the drawers on the side and then the shelves on the other side. And then we got a custom glass top to put here. That way it's easier to clean. And then the mirror is from Target. And I actually stringed some twinkle lights to the outside of this mirror. That's why you see the black battery pack right there. But some of the decor hides that. But it looks really nice and cozy at night. I also have string lights around this mirror. And it's just really, really beautiful at night. Since we have an upholstered fabric bed, it also needs to get vacuumed, so I really needed to vacuum the sides and the headboard as well, and I moved over this bench so I can vacuum behind it, and our bed and this bench as well are from Wayfair. And if you are new here, my name is Lorena and I love making decorating videos. And if you're enjoying today's video, I would love for you to subscribe. Although it was a lot of work, it felt really nice to have a really, really clean bedroom. And I felt very accomplished and it was just nice to sleep in a super clean bed at night. Although the next day, my wrist was really sore. I broke it in February and I had surgery and I'm now recovering. I'm actually doing my last day of physical therapy next week, so I'm really excited. But it, there's still some things that make it feel really sore and vacuuming is one of them so when i vacuum the couches or just vacuum the floors i wake up with a really sore wrist the next day but it's slowly getting better so i'm really really thankful for that yes i'm just too scared to settle down there'd be many nights i got too hot and almost left town but there's something about you Our sheets and comforter were clean and dried so I'm finally putting those back on and then I'm sharing some new awesome pillows that I'm going to be putting on the bed and then after that I'm going to show you the vases, the DIY vases that I did and I really really love how they turned out and that's all I did for this day. The next day is when I do the decorating so we're almost there. Get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. And if you watch my channel, you know that I love decorating with neutrals, so white bedding is definitely a must for me. I just lo love the look of it. It's very fresh and clean and crisp, and it just looks really cozy. So I love having white sheets and a white comforter. And then I'm going to add a blanket and then some pillows that are. A little bit more of a cream and tan color just to give a little bit of dimension. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. And I'm so thankful for Maxi's for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent me these amazing sleep pillows that honestly feel like clouds. They have a breathable fabric that allows for airflow and keeps a comfortable temperature. They're machine washable and really have the perfect support for your head and neck without sinking in. And since filming this, I have loved sleeping with these pillows. I almost feel like they get softer with every use 
and my husband really loves it too he says that it's so comfortable and i'll leave a link for you guys to check them out in the description box and you can use my code lorena rosales for 30 percent off I really love the texture and cream color of these pillows. They're from Target and of course I'm giving them that chop in the middle so they can look extra cozy. And I'm in love with this new pillow. It's from House and Home. It has these beautiful tassels and I love the color and the shape and it just ties in the rest of the pillows all together very well. And then I splurged and got this Casa Luna blanket from Target. I have been wanting to get it for a while. It's a little pricey, but super worth it. I think it looks just really beautiful. I love the color and the texture and it's really soft. And I just think it adds such a cozy element to our bed. And I'm so excited for this part of the video because I'm giving these vases a little makeover and I love how they turned out. I've had this gray one for a while now. I don't even remember where it's from, but it was just lying around so I thought I would use it. And then this pink one is from Walmart, but I actually already had it in the bedroom, but I just wasn't feeling the pink anymore. I'm just using some white chalk paint and some baking soda. So just mixing those together, the baking soda really thickens up the paint and then when you paint it on it creates a really beautiful texture. So the more baking soda you put, the thicker and the more texture that it will have. And then I'm just going in and giving them a coat of this. I let them dry for about an hour or so and then gave them a second coat. And you want to make sure that you're painting the same direction. So I like doing it horizontally, that way it creates just a more realistic look. And the look that I'm going for with these vases is an aged stone look. So the baking soda really helps with that. And with the gray vase, I added a more baking soda than I did with the pink and it just creates a thicker consistency and you can see the texture a lot better and you can see it coming out right here. And then after I let them dry, I went in with a sponge and several different colors and it creates a grainy look which I will show you in a second and I'll link the exact colors that I use down below but it really creates that stone look. And I love just using vases that are just lying around or you can even thrift some, get some from Goodwill and just give them a really good makeover. And after they dried with the second coat, you can see how beautiful the texture is starting to look. But I didn't want to just leave them white. I wanted to give them more dimension and more of the stone look. So I went in with some chalk paint again, baking soda, and I added a little bit of just brown paint. Mix that up and then I'm going to be using these colors as well. It's like a coral, yellow, and a gray. And then I'm going to be using a sponge, just a dish sponge that I got from Dollar Tree and I cut them into pieces. And I'm just going to be dabbing all of these colors onto the vases. And this, you want to make sure that it's already dried by then, the vases. And you just go in. There's no wrong way. It honestly starts to feel like it looks wrong. Like at first when I was doing it, I was like, uh, no, this looks weird. And then it starts to look good. So you go in. I went in with the brown paint and then with all these different colors. And there's just no way to do it. You kind of just dab around the vase until you cover the whole thing. And then... I let that try for a little bit, like 10 minutes, and then the last thing I did was go in with white paint, 
and you can see like the colors starting to come out and they just honestly look really beautiful I'll take you anywhere you want As long as we're together Everything will do You got me going on And you can see the colors start to mix in really well together and it just starts to look like real stone and the last thing I do like I said just go in with the white paint and just dab that all over the face and that's the last thing for this face and I really really love how it turned out for the gray base I'm just gonna dab with the gray paint and then the white but for the pink one I wanted to have just a little bit more color but I just love how they both turned out when I look in your eyes I don't know how but it feels like I'm drunk on you it's almost like you make me fly when I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. And I called it a day after doing the vases, and then the next day I started with the decorating, but look at how beautiful they look. So these are some of the new decor items that I picked up. I loved this little tray. It was from the Target dollar spot, only $5. I thought it was really pretty. I got some picture frames, a wood organizer, really pretty candle, this beautiful marble box. I thought we could hide our remotes in there. And then these really pretty coasters. I loved the color and then a little bit of the gold. And then some candle wick scissors. So I'm using some gold, some wood tones, neutral colors, just different textures and elements. And hopefully it ties in well together. And these are some vases that I'm going to be using. I already had these, so I just shopped my own home. Again, sticking with neutrals, whites, a little bit of gold. And then these are how the vases turned out. And I love them. I think that they look beautiful. They really have that aged stone look. I wanted this one to be a little bit more white and I think it just came out really pretty. The texture is really nice. And then this one's really pretty. Some of the colors are kind of like coming out and then also with that white but it has a lot of texture. So really pretty. And then this is the only new vase that I got. It's from Target. I think it's Threshold. Yeah, Threshold. It was 15 I really liked the shape and then just the white. So let's get to decorating. Vases are always a really easy way to decorate. So just adding those to the shelf and then moving on to the makeup vanity. Like I said, I wanted to keep it really simple. Just adding this new tray and then putting my perfumes on there. I really like just that natural element of the tray. It adds just a really simple look, I think. And then I got this wood organizer from Amazon. I organize just stuff that are actually things I use often in there instead of having like I had those lipsticks that I just rarely used and then just adding some really pretty picture frames and then that's it for here I wanted it just clean and simple For the dresser, again going with a really simple look, just adding a picture frame, a vase, and then the marble box, and then just hiding our remotes in there. One thing I know is that there should be, there is no one who has a heart as pure, no, not like yours. 
for our side tables I'm just creating some floral arrangements I already had some faux white flowers and then some dried eucalyptus if you're doing faux flowers and want them to look a little bit more realistic so you can do some just regular faux flowers and then dried greenery I think makes it look a bit more realistic so instead of like the plastic greenery I like getting the dried one instead because it just it was at one point real so it does give it more of a natural element your smile what if the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there being no wars mm -hmm. And just sticking with the rule of three here on my side table although the lamp is already there but for the little side decor I'm doing the floral arrangement this really pretty candle is from Target and then I'm adding these candle wick scissors which are useful but then also just add that little touch of decor and then that coaster is from Anthropology. And on my husband's side, I kept it even more simple just with the eucalyptus in the vase and a coaster. The coasters are really useful for us because we always have a glass of water by our bed. So it acts as decor, but it's functional as well. And something that we've been wanting to do is change out the lighting fixture in our master bathroom, which is in our bedroom. We got this one from Wayfair and I absolutely love it. I think it's so beautiful and it goes so well in here. We have finally changed out all of our lighting fixtures in our house. We just had the regular lighting fixtures that come with a new build but we decided to upgrade all of them ourselves and this was finally the last one so so happy for that and this is where I'm putting the other vase which I really love it here I'm just adding some pompous grass and then a candle which I will link the candle down below it's from Sephora but it smells amazing probably my favorite candle I've ever smelled it smells like an expensive hotel or an expensive perfume I don't know it just smells so so good and I think the vase just looks beautiful here I love the look of just a clean countertop for bathrooms so I really don't like having anything on there just minimal decor but I think just that clean look just looks really beautiful Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video i felt very accomplished with all of the cleaning and the diy and decorating so i hope that you got some motivation to do some deep cleaning yourselves or some ideas and inspiration for some decor don't forget to check out the description box for any items that you liked and to check out my friend ashley and her video and i will see you guys next time